Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about thanking South Carolina Republican Senator Tim Scott for condemning South Africa's African National Congress government. Now, this had needed to be addressed years ago, several years ago, but people were afraid to address it because they were scared of being labeled racist. But African American Senator Tim Scott, Republican Senator from South Carolina, had said stuff that People should have said years ago, anybody, black, white, Hispanic, Asian American, whoever, they should have said this because this is going on. This does not make somebody a racist for bringing this up. The current post-apartheid government of South Africa, the African National Congress, is reaping a lot of U.S. benefits through AGOA, Africa Growth and Opportunity Act. And at the same time, the South African government very rarely votes with the United States in the United Nations or any other international organization. They always condemn the United States whenever they get a chance to. They cozy up to Iran. They condemn Russia's, they refuse to condemn Russia's invasion of Ukraine. They cozy up to Iran every chance they get. They cut deals with China every chance they get, but then they demand that they receive benefits from the African Growth and Opportunity Act. Now, where the violation of the African Growth and Opportunity Act comes from are multiple things, but before we go into that, there were several South Africans that did, or over 300 South Africans that went overseas to fight for ISIS and came back, but nobody is talking about arresting them, but uh, the South African government did say, under the Foreign Minister Naledi Pandor, had said that if any South African Jews with dual citizenship go over to fight for Israel against Hamas, that they're going to get arrested. Well, South Africa, the South African government has refused to condemn Hamas as a terrorist organization, and Hamas is blatantly a terrorist organization. The current U.S. government and the European Union are not the most pro-Israel governments out there, um, contrary to what the media says, but they still condemn Hamas as uh, an international terrorist organization. Well, the African National Congress does not, in South Africa, does not do that. They don't designate Hamas as a terrorist organization. They consider Hamas freedom fighters, which Hamas is not. It's blatantly a terrorist organization. And the violations of the African Growth and Opportunity Act come from the, the corruption that is plaguing South Africa. There is corruption all oh, through the African National Congress. And when there's rampant corruption under the African Growth of Opportunity Act, they cannot receive benefits from the United States if corruption is a rampant problem. That's a blatant violation of the African Growth and Opportunity Act. Cutting deals with America's enemies. That's another thing. But then South Africa is going to host the AGOA Summit, Africa Growth and Opportunity Act, and props to Senator Tim Scott for calling out um, the African National Congress on all this, quite frankly, bullshit. Um, cutting deals with Iran, cozying up to Russia, refusing to condemn Russia's invasion of Ukraine, and then condemning the U.S. every chance they get, but then having their hand out for the uh, wanting U.S. benefits through the African Growth and Opportunity Act when they're violating it by having a corrupt government and murder and rape are rampant in South Africa. They have the worst HIV problem in the world, and... They're just bad mouthing the U.S., but then still wanting U.S. aid, and that just that that's not how things work. And then cutting deals with terrorist organizations like praising terrorist organizations like Hamas—that's just not how things work. So, anyways, hope everybody's doing well. Take care, God bless, and bye, bye, bye.